Hi, and welcome to Principles of Macroeconomics. This is Module 1.1, and today we'll be discussing the idea of scarcity, limited resources, and opportunity cost. So to start off with, economics is the study of how people allocate scarce resources. When we think about scarce resources, resources. For individuals, this might be their amount of time that they have or the amount of money that they have to spend on goods and services. For firms, this would be factors of production, such as land, labor, and capital. We all face trade-offs in the decisions that we make because of these scarce resources. In other words, if I have $5 that I want to spend on either a latte or a notebook for class, I can only make a choice based on what I can do with that $5. If I spend it on a latte, then I can no longer use that $5 to spend it on a notebook. So we face trade-offs in all of the decisions that we make. The idea of opportunity cost is that once we make a choice, what we give up once we have made that choice is the opportunity cost of our decision. So what we give up to get something is the idea of opportunity cost. So let's think of an example here. Let's think of a situation where you would be hitting the snooze button when you wake up in the morning. Now we've all faced this before. We are maybe rushing off to class or rushing to work and we've hit the alarm thinking, we've set our alarm thinking we know what we want to do in the morning. We want to not feel rushed, eat some breakfast, go to the gym maybe, and make sure that we're on time for work or for school. So if we hit the snooze button once, What's going to happen? Well, we hit it once, we sleep a little bit more, that's the benefit of hitting our snooze button, but we feel a little bit rushed in the morning. Okay, well, 10 minutes goes by, the alarm goes off again. Well, what's the benefit of hitting that snooze button one more time? We get a little bit more sleep. But now the opportunity cost of hitting the snooze button twice is that, okay, we feel rushed in the morning, but now we also have to skip breakfast. Now 10 minutes goes by again and the alarm goes off. We think, should we hit it a third time? Benefit, more sleep, but we feel rushed. We might skip breakfast and now we might even skip going to the gym. If we hit it four times, then now we feel rushed, skip breakfast, skip the gym, and we are late for work. The benefit of making the choice to hit the snooze button is more sleep, but the cost is going to be what we give up for more sleep each time that we hit the snooze button. Now, what's important to know is that opportunity costs may be subjective and they may differ depending on the situation. So for example, for someone that would be working in the afternoon, hitting the snooze button early in the morning is not as costly as someone that has to go to work first thing in the, in the morning. Secondly, for someone that would be hitting the snooze button on a Saturday morning, they don't necessarily have to be somewhere at a specific time. So the benefits of more sleep may outweigh all of these costs that we see. So opportunity costs are subjective and they may differ depending on the situation. But what is most important to understand is that we face opportunity costs every day. So we face opportunity costs every day and in every decision that we make because we're always weighing the costs and benefits of the choices that we are faced with. We, are, we have scarce resources in terms of both money and time as individuals and we need to make a decision of what to do with the resources that we have. So once we make a choice, what we give up to make that choice is the opportunity cost. Thanks so much for joining me in module 1.1 on scarcity, limited resources, and opportunity costs.